Welcome to personal vlog number eight. It's Brett Hornby here, and uh, on Wednesday, October the 17th, was definitely uh, an historic day in Canada. We're known for the true north, strong and free, the great white north, and also cannabis is legal now. So, uh, people were definitely excited about that. And you know, for someone who would consider myself as a, as a conservative here with my political views, you would think that uh, I would be totally against the legalization of, uh, or decriminalization, it's both the same thing, of cannabis, marijuana, weed, whatever. But I actually don't mind it. I mean, it's definitely, for years here, it's definitely been braced as a, you know, you could still get it prescribed and you hear some people talk about uh, medicinal benefits and uh, you know potential pain reliever but let's be clear right now that the only part that's legal right now is being able to buy and I heard you can only buy 30 grams and be in possession of 30 grams of it that's one time and apparently you can grow your own there's apparently so many but I'm not personally playing on uh, I don't smoke myself but I'm not playing on uh, suddenly starting because it's legal but uh, it's definitely been embraced big time I mean I mean you always get people that were all all excited about waiting in line for the store and waiting for it to open here but then you always get your thinking it's like people are wanting to wait hours in line to buy pot because it's legal now or marijuana or whatever you want to say but uh yet people aren't willing to spend that much time to go vote like voting for uh you know parliament or your mla mp or locally for your mayor or counselor or in a couple of weeks here in calgary we got a very big decision to make about uh the 2026 winter olympics and i'll uh make a personal vlog about that plebiscite when the time comes but uh i mean people definitely have been embracing this uh legalization of marijuana but the uh, other thing is is that uh there's a lot of stores that are still in the application process because there's only a few stores in calgary for example that were open on opening day so that definitely uh you know bring in the string of big crowds at certain places and I think there was one place that uh, they temporarily because I mean liquor stores for example are managed by the AGLC which is also what marijuana and that uh, runs under the Alberta Gaming Liquor Commission I know that uh, liquor stores can open at 10 a.m. local time and stay open till 2 a.m. local time which I know that's the same time that it's the cutoff time if you're out drinking you know at the bar but uh you know there was definitely the one store that there was enough com noise complaints that they were going to wait for it to die down and stay open until 10 p.m but uh you know there's still a lot of places and me personally i actually i mean i work in the engineering and planning industry inside at times but we treat it as as a tenant as a you know electrical drafter designer both using autocad and revit that we trade as a tenant, but uh, I actually worked on a couple, couple stores. Kind of, it was kind of weird and funny at first, but then, you know, it's just a uh, sign of the times. Uh, I have no problem with that. I just wish that, uh, you know, if people have to consume it, just consume it away from me, because uh, I have chronic asthma, and you know, it's definitely not good for you and to do it all the time and. Uh, you know, it wrecks your uh, gums and teeth, and no, like that it's definitely another entire territory. Is like you gotta wonder how uh, how the police are gonna, you know, are their hands gonna be too full with suddenly people, you know, smoking marijuana? I mean, you're gonna get charged the same as if you drank too much. But uh, I think there was just this as much hype back, uh, you know, hundred years ago. I mean, I some of my adventures and you know, going on museums and that. They were talking about prohibition in the early 1910s, 1920s, about how people were sneaking in on the black market to get their 
alcohol fix. And we're talking about like the stronger stuff, like the whiskey and that, I'm not talking about beer and that, but uh, this is almost like the 21st century prohibition that, uh, you know, I mean, it was, you were able to get prescribed. And uh, of course, there's the huge black market on there that uh, people try to get their, you know, their marijuana, but now suddenly it's all the excitement that it's legal now. That's got to knock yourselves out. I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, just because of the tax revenue that it uh, definitely will generate. I mean, they're estimating that it's going to be a, a $5 billion industry. And, uh, I mean, it's, I think Canada is the first, you know, G7 country to totally legalize it. I mean, there's other parts in the world that I've heard many sources of where it comes from. But uh, I know that uh, Copenhagen is one place that I believe that people actually go there for that purpose. And they actually have dedicated bars where you can... Uh, actually consume it and smoke it but uh, our smoking bylaws are a lot more strict here in Calgary thankfully that uh, you know you pretty much can only uh, smoke it you know at home I mean there's I mean there was there was a flack that the city got about having dedicated parks where you can smoke it but then it's the thing I mean there's bars but I can't decide to uh, you know I take the bus after work. I mean, it's not like I can't go to the liquor store and buy a buy a thing of beer and drink it on the way to the bus stop without getting into trouble. I mean, that's illegal. But uh, you know, it's just it's uncharted territory. And you know, from a player's standpoint, I mean, depending on what you do for work and how critical it is. I mean, I mean, you got to treat it like beer and drunk driving, and it's basically you know you can't consume it during work duty and you know if you represent the company you know off hours or at functions whatever you it's either you can't consume it or you know assuming that you just can't do it or do it responsibly but it's easier to it's easier to keep liquor to yourself being more responsible than smoking but uh i mean this is just kind of my my take on this whole legalization of marijuana it's just uh you know, it's definitely been excitement. People are definitely excited about me. I'm, I'm indifferent. I'm not uh, totally against it or not. I wasn't in line buying it. I mean, it might, maybe eventually when it dies off, just because I worked on some of the drawings, I, you know, drawing packages, I might want to see what CD stores just for, you know, who knows, maybe uh, I'll go on a site visit to see one of the stores for opening, but, uh, my impression was when I did the drawing plans that it was just pretty much bright and open or uh, different, you know, kind of compared to the Apple store, just wide open, you got facts everywhere, it's, I mean, it's just still something to keep my mind around, but uh, what are your thoughts about, uh, you know, cannabis being legalized in Canada that, I mean, eventually you're going to, it's the same restrictions as liquor stores, but it's going to be a matter of time before you're going to see just as many cannabis stores as you see liquor stores in, in the neighborhood and any given neighborhood. At least in Calgary, my experience is you can basically, uh, basically all the major intersections away from schools and churches and that, every neighborhood seems to have like three or four liquor stores and uh, I live near Sate here and you know there definitely was a couple uh, cannabis store locations I looked at the city website but uh, you know, it's just my take. It's I'm indifferent. I I was actually somewhat supportive of it just because of the you know tax rate. It's a sin tax. I mean, I mean, there's I can make rant videos about other taxes that we have to pay, but we can't control it. On the other hand, because we need it, like you know, heating and heating and all that, for example. But anyway, this is my personal blog number eight: cannabis legalization in Canada. What's your thoughts on it? And I'll see you in the next one.